Today I'm installing a luggage rack on my Hunter 350. This part is not an OEM part because Royal Enfield do not make a rear luggage rack for the Hunter 350 yet. So to begin with, just uh, removing the side panel on the right hand side with the key. Um, it's held by the key at the bottom and then just two uh, push pins at the top. This reveals your uh, relays and other components. You just have to pull a little cable uh, to remove the seat which you just lift up from the back and then up and backwards to remove the seat. Once the seat's been removed, there's uh, four hex topped bolts that you have to remove. Sorry for the bad camera angle there. Um, not a professional uh, videographer, so I uh, get in the way a bit. Sorry about that. So just loosening off these four hex topped bolts. that's been done you can just do it under the finger there is a screw or nut rather at the other end of the bolt which you can hold in place with a couple of fingers from underneath if you need to though I found it pretty easy to just undo them and the nuts kind of fell into some small recesses that seem to be made for them in the uh, top of the fender anyway so it worked out well once you remove the bolts though you can't actually remove the grab bar until you loosen off the fender somewhat so there's these two central uh, bolts that are 10 millimeter in the center here that you'll have to undo. You don't have to undo them all the way, just loosen them off uh, to get an extra few centimeters of clearance between the uh, frame and the fender so that way you can remove the uh, grab handle. Because you can see there's a little extrusion point there that needs to be cleared. Not a very hard task today, uh, very quick and simple one to install this. As you can see the nuts there and the little recesses in the top of the fender. And then I can't vouch for every uh, luggage rack but this one just fits into the uh, original holes, oh, it has holes in the original places so it's just a matter of repeating the process in reverse. Just uh, use a couple of fingers to um, hold the uh, nuts in place while you uh, put the bolts in from the top. I just found it easier here to um, actually remove the nuts just so I can slide in the uh, luggage rack a bit easier. And then putting the bolt in and then holding the nut underneath with a couple of fingers so that I can do up the bolt. It's best to do the two uh, rear ones first, uh, that way you can sort of manipulate the rack so that the two front ones will fit as well. And it's just a matter of putting all those back in, I won't show you going through the process, but you just redo all, all the bolts and nuts you did, wipe off any excess grease or grub you got on your seat while you were doing this process. And that's it, that's pretty much the whole thing, just got to put the uh, side panel back on as well. And that's our luggage rack, very quick and easy, found this one, like I, I did this in 15 minutes. All good. See you next time.